Yo, what's up everybody, my name is AJ, and I would like to welcome you all back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. And today guys, we're going to be here on part number 14. And just to catch you up between what has happened in the last episode to this episode, is that in the last episode, Emma Emmerich had passed away very unfortunately enough. Yeah, if that makes sense. But anyways, she did pass away, which was very unfortunate. And we finally are inside of Arsenal Gear. Now, I do want to clarify a couple of things. So I did say that in the very beginning of this series, that I have played Metal Gear Solid 2 on the PlayStation 2, and that I will remember some things, such as the Vamp boss battle. Uh, boss battle? I meant the boss battle. Um, I remember the Fat Man boss battle, the Fortune boss battle, um, the Harrier boss battle. You know, those are the little things that I do remember of. Um, the bombs, the big shell incident, the tanker incident. But one of the things that I do not remember so much of is Arsenal gear. And one of the things that I guess I don't remember as much, or I guess you could say one other set of things that I don't remember as much in Metal Gear Solid 2 is the cutscenes. And I will tell you, when I was a young guy, I gave no damn towards the storyline. I didn't care about no storyline. Oh, hello there. I didn't give no damn towards the storyline. Is that... Yeah, that is a ration. Okay. I didn't give a damn about a storyline. I just liked the fact that this was a stealth game, uh, a stealth action game, and that's why I played it. But when I'm you know, when I'm all grown up now and I start to play this game, um, I start to realize that the storytelling of these games of Metal Gear Solid are impeccable. And I am definitely looking forward to play Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4. And I may play Peace Walker. That is a possibility. All right, so we just found a computer uh, for the past five minutes. I've been trying to go through the main room here in this one to find a computer for the Soliton radar and totally find out that it's in here. Yeah, and I believe we're in the stomach of what Arsenal gear. What the hell is that? Okay, well, that's kind of new, isn't it? Okay, that's the codec. I want to see if we can reach Snake, see where he is. No response, okay. That's kind of alarming. Colonel? Oh, is it going through? Get your equipment back first, or you won't be able to do much good. Rendezvous with that man and retrieve your gear. Raiden, rendezvous with that man. Go through the northeastern door and head north. That man? You mean Snake? What is up with the Colonel, dude? Honestly, like... He saved your daughter in Metal Gear Solid 1. Do you not remember that? Oh, you're calling me back? Okay. Raiden, do you copy? Mm -hmm. You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. Yeah. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take yeah. out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? that I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? Simulation? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over oh, and out. Oh, dude. Is Colonel working for the Patriots this entire time? Oh, that's kind of bad. You, could, you guys have heard that, right? They have Rosemary. Oh, dude. Oh my god, that is... I'm gonna call Rose to see if she's okay. That is kind of an important thing to worry about here. Are you okay? Hey Jack! Well sure, I'll save the game, why not? I haven't played this since, what, the 11th of August? That would be correct. 
and it is the 20th of August. You see, I record a lot of episodes to the point where I have enough to basically bump out. I've been playing for 10 hours? That is unbelievable. Jack, I was serious when I said I wanted you to propose to me. Oh, here we Rose? go. I was really worried. There are times when it seems like you're not really looking at me and that if I looked away for a moment, you'll disappear. I wanted to make sure you couldn't get away. I thought that if we lived together, maybe things would change. That maybe we could change things ourselves. <sighs> But that wasn't the problem. There was something deeper. I'm sorry. I guess it's impossible for me. W what are you saying? I'm sorry, Jack. I love you. I really do. Aww. Please believe me. Whatever happens. Rose? Bye, Jack. Oh, dude. Okay, first of all, that was kind of deep. Second of all, I think she knows what's, what's, uh, what's going on here. That's a damn shame. Okay. Do I have any other weapons? I don't. I'm basically naked. I'm basically naked. Disarmed. I have nothing on me. Now, there's two different paths I can go. I do see a staircase going there. But there's also a straight pathway. I do see a guard over there. I feel like with all the... With all the stuff in the way, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through these, um... Through, through these uh, little, what do you call it, these little paths here, down on, uh, what am I talking about, man? I meant to say I won't be able to make it through here because of how many obstacles there are and how seeable I can be, or how visible I can be. I'm going to go up here, actually, instead. I feel like that would do better. What's up, Colonel? What you got for me, man? Yeah, he, he's got a problem, bro. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. What are you talking about? First of all, the unrelaxing music doesn't make it any better. That's why I keep turning around, because like, I'm, 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 like, I don't like that kind of music. It scares the hell out of me. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. I've been doing the fighting all along. Dude, what is up with the colonel? And his signal's kind of coming in like really bad too. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I'm kind of screwed. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go over there. Okay. I better make it out of here quick. Uh, now where I'm supposed to go is beyond me. That's just, uh, that's just kind of weird. Now, Something just came to my mind. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, you know how nano communications... Oh, hello. I feel like, you know how... Oh, a box. That can kind of come in handy. But you know how nano communications are operated by the Patriots? They have to be, right? Because it's like nano machines and everything. It's his. Infiltrate. The enemy fortress. Outer heaven. Destroy. The final weapon, Metal Gear. Wait, that's from the Metal Gear 1 game, or like the old Metal Gear games, because I was watching that on YouTube. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll never play the- <gasps> What the fuck was that? Scared the shit out of me, okay. Uh, hide in a box. Did, did he just sneeze? That scared the living piss out of me. Okay. I was saying, oh my god. Okay, now something seems weird. I was gonna say that I thought the nano communication operated by the Patriots is affecting the signal because we are in like a boat, I guess you could say. Okay, I don't know what he wants, but I'm I'm kind of getting something. Something's kind of not right about the colonel right now. What in the hell? 
This is kind of creeping me out, to be honest. That's, I almost don't even want to play the game because of this. Like, this is so creepy right now, just like what he's saying, and the unsettling music. God, like, I just don't like that music. It almost sounds like a horror game. Like, listen to it. Oh, boy. Hello. Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl, the return of Ginola. What the hell? What is that? Okay, that was kind of confusing and a half. Where the hell am I meant to go though? I don't know, something is weird about him. I don't even know what to say. I do want to get past this guard though, I'll tell you that much. I don't know how I'm going to do that, though. Uh, how am I going to get past you? How am I going to get past you? I think the only thing I can do is go... Okay, dude, listen, you are getting on my nerves. Is there something I can do for you? Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but that I was... just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week... I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... What the hell? Go, 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 get out of here. There we go. Okay, that's kind of new. Mm. Okay, I think I've reached the very end. The very end here. Okay, I can probably take off this. Oh, there's a staircase here. There's something down there that I can get. I can't really see much down there. Oh my god, dude. An anemone or clematis plants juice what and cause a rash. Hell? When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. You guys see that? Okay, something's telling me the Colonel is a... Uh... He's a fake. He's gotta be. You guys saw that, right? That almost looked like a, um... What, a hologram of him or something? Oh, snap. I don't know whatever that is, but I'm not really concerned about it, to be honest. Is there anything leading up to there? No, because take a look at this, right? No, because we, we looked through the- oh, snap. I'm just gonna go back up. I don't know whatever the hell that is. Okay, something's not right about this dude. President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. President Baker, that's from, um, that's from Metal Gear Solid 1? Yeah, dude, I think the Colonel's a fake. There's no way this has got to be real because President Baker is old news, dude. <laughs> that guy's long dead. He's been dead. Is, isn't he the guy who, um, who, uh, what's it called? Um, he, he's the guy where, uh, he's like the old, like the old chunky dude. Uh, sorry, that's like the really, a really bad description, but he's like an old chunky dude and we were facing Ocelot in a gun battle right next to him. Isn't that who Baker is, at least? I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. What the hell? Okay, yeah. This is definitely a fake kernel. I think... Okay, I have actually gathered my suspicions together now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I've had some time to gather my thoughts and kind of figure out where I need to go. I do see like a hall here where I need to go. I think the Colonel's a fake, completely, completely a fake, and I, I think Actually, I've realized I'm why. In really bad shape financially. You're in bad shape. I paid overall. money to my ex-wife as part of our divorce settlement, among other bills. I just had no choice but to make you pay for lunch the other day. I'm really sorry. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. Okay. Remember, 
I don't, I don't, I'm lost. I don't know. I don't even know where this is even going. But I do, I do know I need to get the hell out of here. Is this the way I need to go? It's another room. Ascending colon? I don't even know what the hell kind of name is that. Oh, this is all kind of coming back together, this room. Your mission is to infiltrate the Fortress Galloway, rescue the hostages, and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. Where is Galoot? What was that? Yeah, I think, you know what it is? I know exactly what's happening. GW. I was a North American fall webworm in my past life. Ah, oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? Um, I don't know, man. We saw that, though. You got a PSG-1? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Oh. Hurry up and save Meryl. Oh, Colonel, I think... You know what I... What the hell is that? Well, hello. This is creeping me the hell out, though. I will tell you that right now. I think it's, it has to do with GW. I think it's the virus. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that's gotta be, um, that's gotta be GW's doing. I think the Colonel's a fake. We saw the, the hologram of him. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a fake Colonel here. Because... So does that mean in Metal Gear's... No, because I know, I know in another game he appears, so I'm not even gonna say that, but... Actually, I'm really bad. Oh Chief my god, dude, you're creeping me I paid money to my ex-wife as part of our divorce settlement, among other bills. I just had no choice but to make you pay for lunch the other day. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I think it has to do something with GW here. Am I supposed to go through here? Oh, jeez, scared the hell out of me. This game is scary now, jeez. Infiltrate the enemy fortress. Outer Heaven. Destroy the final weapon. Metal Gear. My face cam was probably blocking that. But that was a... That was a hologram in, in front view. This is Rose. Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Oh, same Jack, person. Thank I owe you an God. apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. You should tell, no, him, tell her about else. the colonel. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. Oh, You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. No. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. 
She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Ugh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. But I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. What the hell? Rose! What's going on? What is going on? Holy crap. I've never heard these dialogues before. And it is... I... Nothing has creeped me out other than this. Like that. Oh, hello. Snake! Been waiting long. Hey. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there. Snake, we need to talk. Big time. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Finally, someone sane on the codec. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Ugh. Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? Twenty-five, according to Olga. Twenty-five? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before. Twenty-five? I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. Oh, How? I remember I've this. stocked up on Stinger missiles. Yeah. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Oh, I remember what he meant. I remember that. That's the one of the things I do remember. Oh. I forgot about this. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Oh, this is where Raiden becomes his true form, bro. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, oh, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. That's kind of backwards. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Okay. I want to work around with it. Okay. Okay, so right goes like... Left goes like that, right goes like that. Okay. Oh, if you keep spinning it. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then that. And then two. Okay, I do remember some of this. I don't remember the R3 one per se, but that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, uh... What do you say we get moving? I'm gonna assume we need to go here. Seems pretty cool. Come on, time to go. How does it feel, Raiden? How does it feel? If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! Oh, what? snap. The bandana? <laughs> I just got that because of uh, MGS4. I know it's an MGS1 too. I know, Snake, isn't it MGS4? Have you ever enjoyed I killing so. someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, 
We don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Oh, legends don't mean a whole lot. They don't. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Oh my god, that actually strikes pretty nicely too. I love that. Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Oh, snap. Oh, I remember this part now. Okay, things are coming back to me a bit. Things are coming back to me Snake, a bit Snake, Raiden, Otacon. You alright? Otacon? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Mm -hmm. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. That's the one you had in uh, MGS1 as well, didn't you? Oh, snap. Uh, maybe I need to be a little bit careful. I wish I had stuns on me. Damn it. Okay, whatever. We're gonna have to make do with what we have. Um, here we go. Of course, never. There we go, there we go. Push yourself. You know, that's what I'm doing. I think I am pushing myself way too much here. Way too much. Far beyond too much. I think if you hold it like that, you should be good. Shoot, I keep doing that way too much. I just have this habit of going in. I need to think a little more strategically. Ah, oh, dude, what am I doing? Oh, wait, you know what I should use? Okay, I know exactly what I should do. There we go. Oh, dude, these guys are hard to beat, huh? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, damn it, damn it. Oh my god, this is difficult. This is difficult, this is difficult. Oh, dude, 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 Oh, what the hell is killing Snake? Oh, dude, 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 Snake is like on his last breath. Dude, I thought Snake was about to die there for a minute. Dude, you good? I almost died too, I ain't gonna lie to you about that. I need to find more loot before I continue, dude. I feel like I suck at this because uh, I literally tried to... I just tried to go up in there and just try to kill people. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Yeah, there's no loot. I'm kind of screwed, to be honest. Unless I loot the people. Otacon? What do you need, bro? What do Ryan, you inquire? About this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point. It's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI. The so-called GW. 
I what the called hell it. does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. Oh. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Right. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Hell yeah. I called it about the whole nanomachines thing. I did. And I really did. But then I knew it just couldn't just be the nanomachines. Otacon? No, Colonel. Oh boy, the, the, everything just right. stopped. They've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then... Everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. Yeah. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? What did she say now? Dude, I... Need to find... Oh, hello. Huh? 